All right, folks. Well, you probably heard that lightning and uh, I wanted to put an EMP shield on, in my cabin. The way they operate, the way it was explained to me, is they check the voltage across the circuit. And if the voltage of the circuit starts to go too high, then what these things do is they bleed off the excess voltage to the ground. So you must have a ground. That is actually really important. Now, you might think like on a car, well, there's no ground on a car. Well, actually there is, it's the frame. So they, they actually understand that and they set theirs up for that. But this is a house style one and there are different kinds. This one here is designed for your 120 volt and it's designed for RVs, small cabins, that kind of thing. So you think about it, you're thinking, well, why can't I just put it in my, why can't I just put it in my AC panel? Well, actually you can folks. This is really designed for setups like mine here where it's like a small cabin or an RV and uh, that may not be an easy option. So, and, and it could work for any household actually, as long as you got grounds. I hear that rain coming back again. We're, we're back to the rain. So this system, which is tested and developed in a military testing facility. So they, they use the same standards the military does. And I hope you can hear me, but the rain is coming down again. And so these are well tested, but you might think, yeah, but are they gonna work? Well, EMP Shield guarantees these with a $25,000 guarantee. That's 25 grand. If it doesn't work, then they guarantee up to $25,000 in repairs to the electronics that it did not protect. Now you might say, yeah, but in a big EMP, everybody's gonna be down. How are, they, how are you gonna know? Well, that, that's a great point, except that EMP Shield will warranty this for lightning strikes. So they're saying this is good enough that we are confident enough that it will protect you, that we're gonna guarantee it with a $25,000 backing. So I'm sorry, lots of lightning happens all the time and it blows stuff up all the time and they're willing to guarantee it under those conditions. I'm pretty sure it'll probably work in an EMP too. Now, some of you may say, well, we just had a class five coronal mass ejection and nothing happened. Well, that's true. Although what a lot don't know and what, what a lot didn't tell you is that when that coronal mass ejection happened, which was a G5, it should have knocked power all over the world. It should have destroyed a bunch of electronics and the mosquitoes are gonna eat me alive here, folks, but it didn't, how come? Because the spot on the sun that ejected all of that plasma or whatever it is that creates that big EMP pulse on the earth was actually aimed away from the earth a few degrees, just enough so that that big G5 super coronal mass ejection actually deflected off the Earth's atmosphere. And I watched a scientist that talked about why you could see the Aurora Borealis or the Northern Lights at certain latitudes, but not others. And it had to do with the way this thing glanced off the Earth. So if you don't think you need to worry about CMEs, hey, good for you, no worries, that's okay. I just like to have the protection and you know what, EMP shield makes it easy. This device here, I'm just going to take this device, plug it in the wall, plug some, plug something into it and I'll be done. So let's go do that. All right, folks, I just happen to have the perfect place for now to plug this in, which is right here. Now, the one thing they tell you is not to change the the length of the cable they're built for that length so that's kind of important and i don't know if you actually have to plug anything in but we will just in case and i can just leave it turned off but they say that this well this doesn't even have a ground so that does show power but it's on zero so it's not going to go my green light's on so i've got a ground that's important and we are set folks we are good to go and there you have it, folks. Super easy. Plug it in the wall, boom, my 120 volt stuff's all now protected. If we get a strike, comes a bit close, tries to induce a bunch of voltage into the system, the EMP shield will bleed that voltage off to ground. Now, one of the ways I believe that works, and honestly, I'm not a electrical engineer, but they've got some micro switches in there that are apparently incredibly fast, which is faster than anything I've ever heard of, that can 
not only detect the voltage, but switch it to ground over and over again. So what happens is it doesn't allow it to cross the whole circuit. So it senses it and bleeds it off, senses it and bleeds it off, and it does that in milliseconds so that it's protecting your equipment. And once that all stops, hey, it's done. Now I have seen a test at a pump where a gentleman had installed an EMP shield for a county water pump. It was struck by lightning and it blew the EMP shield off the wall and the EMP shield was blown up, but the pump equipment did not get damaged. That's pretty incredible, folks. And what's even more amazing is that EMP shield will then replace that unit for $50. So if you think, well, I gotta pay $50, well, it did its job. But the difference is, even if you don't think your EMP shield is damaged because of their guarantee, they want you to replace it so that you can continue to have that warranty. So for example, if you get zapped by lightning and your EMP shield seems to be fine and everything survived, you could call them up and say, hey, I took a lightning hit, but it didn't seem to damage my, my EMP shield device. What should I do? They're gonna say replace it for 50 bucks. And these are $389, $400 units. And yet they're like just 50 bucks and then you can continue your warranty. So here, here's a case of that it works, but they still, give you a heck of a deal to replace that unit just to guarantee that it's gonna work. I think that's awesome, folks. And again, if it didn't work, $25,000 to protect you. So it's a win-win as far as I'm concerned. So there you have it, folks. Now, we gotta get finished packing up and get out of here. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Y'all have a great day.